Hey everyone, package arrived today uh, from Carboneer. Uh, it's a um, tube tester, an antique one at that. I'm just gonna try to get in here. I know that I think there's a material on the outside of the uh, casing, so I don't want to uh, cut into the material. So I'll just have to open it a bit extra carefully. Just cut the uh, tape as I go in. I think I'm out of shot now anyway, but that happens. Okay, bubble wrapped, good idea. in good shape, case-wise. So hard to tell sometimes when you're see, looking at pictures online. Oh, Christ, it's in really good shape. A little bit of rust on the hinge, but I can clean that up. Okay. Lovely. Gotta say. Is that in shot? Yes. Okay, let's have a look at it. Okay, there we go. A guarantee comes with it. This is from 1960 or 68, I believe, according to the book. Oh, awesome! It's uh, all the uh, tubes are listed in there. Cool. I think there's a, there's a there's a supplementary edition of this as well, which I can get down online. It's just an extra couple of pages of extra tubes, I guess, that they created back in the day. But if you look at that. That says uh, January 1968, so it's about 53 years old. Um, publication of Tubes, the Tube Handbook. It's in really good shape. I don't think it's been used that often. And uh, okay. Now I've never used a device like this before, but I've you know I've seen people using them. A little tuning tool sorts. Not exactly sure what that is, but I'll look up the information on this later, but so I'm going to have a tuner, I guess. Must be something you can adjust on this piece of equipment. Now this here, let's get a good shot of that. It is the Accurate Instrument Company. It's the model 257. New York, New York. So it said it was in good use condition. Um, this here is beyond me what it is, but obviously it's extra things that can be plugged in. It must be specialty sockets, I guess. You know, your guess is as good as mine right now. I'm sure there's people out there seeing Andy. We know what that is. You don't, but we do. Well, that's cool. Now, let's see what else is here. Um, some kind of a grounding clip, maybe? And the power supply, or the power cord, I should say. So we'll put all this, tuck this down inside. This switches off. Let's just see if it's got power here. I'll plug this over here. And uh, let's see. Powered on. And I see nothing. Now there's a power bulb here that may be blown. Let's turn off this light here. Oh, it's glowing actually. Shut off the other light. Let's turn it off. See if you can see the difference. Yep. Perfect. Even the bulb works. Awesome. Turn the light back on. So up here uh, is pin straightening. Pin straighteners. So you insert, and I guess it straightens your pins if they're a bit crooked. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 tube sockets. So the next thing I'm going to do, and that'll be a different video, because I have to dig out a tube. Um, I want to uh, do a tube test. And uh, 
by using this book and instructions. Should have no problem doing that. Just pick out your tube. Uh, let's pick this fine one here, a common one. I don't know which one would be common, but uh, yeah. So you just pick out the tube, and the filament here goes to D on this tube, specific tube. And the G would be 7, I'm just picking this top one here. The K would be 6. The load would be 30. Socket number 4 would be used. And K8, good number 2 short test. I don't know what that is, but here's the press for quality. Not exactly sure what that's all about, and this is keeping them regular and special. That's about all I know right now. But anyway, here it is, the Accurate Instrument Company Tube Tester, Model 257. Hope you enjoyed the little unboxing and uh, preview. Look forward to another video on this, of uh, me testing it. But uh, that'll be in a little while, because I have to dig out an old power tube that I have that was sent to me. And there's a little story behind that one as well. Talk to you soon.